Hello and welcome to Obby Travel once again. So I finally saw very good responses from the last video and I noticed that I'm going to incorporate this segment permanently which is the random subscriber shout outs and let's begin with that let's let's begin with that I have two more random subscriber call outs today before we begin our segment of the video and they are Trav LK and white bread so you might see their youtube channel logos coming up on the screen so do check them out and i appreciate them and thank you for their subscriptions so if you are new to the channel and if you want your channels to be called out drop in a subscription uh, it's totally free you just have to hit the red button subscribe below and you should be on the way and you will be already in the draw for these call outs. So, so with that out of the way, I wanted to talk to you guys regarding one topic with I think I as a vlogger or and or a photographer or a drone photographer has come across, especially when you are not in your home country. So this is actually a very important thing to notice and pay attention to, especially if you're a drone enthusiast like me and you want to fly your drones uh, when you go abroad and you travel. So a couple of like housekeeping items to always keep in mind before flying your drone in any country is A. What's the drone laws of the country that you're going to fly with? Uh, and the second thing is make sure you always have insurance such as liability on your drone and the thing is if you're in North America see what is a registration process for your drone if it's Europe see what's the registration process and so on and so forth and make sure you follow these rules before you fly them most likely you won't have any issues if you have a light version of the drone which is under 249 grams such as the Mavic Mini 2 but it's always good to be on the safe side and follow the rules. So you guys might have seen some of my drone videos in my travel vlogs as well as my standalone drone videos. If you haven't, do check them out. I have added them in the links in the description. And I think I've added a note in each of those videos saying that all these flying activities of the drones that I did were under the law of that country and I'm going to talk about that today and I'm going to share about Croatia in specific today and I'm going to talk about more countries in my subsequent videos so do hit the subscribe button and keep watching this channel. I'm going to show you what are the drone laws and rules and regulations in Croatia if you're traveling there or if you intend to travel and how how do you get an approval and register your drone in order to fly in Croatia so I think one uh, resource or like a set of websites I really like when I was looking for information is the UAV coach so I, again it's not a uh, sponsored video or anything but I really like how they have you know given all the details so you can check them out here and I basically realized is first of all you need to know what class is your drone there is a different within the there there are certain things that you need to remember so find out what class identification your drone is it basically depends on the weight and the size of the drone and it also sometimes depends on when the drone was purchased. So if the drone was purchased before January 1st, 2023 with no class label as above. So certain drones, you know, with different manufacturers may not have a classification. And also you cannot fly any drone beyond 55 LBS or 25 kilograms because they're like super heavy. And sometimes you got to understand governments need to take precautions. You know they cannot just let anyone fly anything and you know it's a security issue so these are certain things you need to make sure and one one other thing i would always emphasize is when you're a remote drone pilot always fly in the vlos methodology which is visual line of sight what this means is you cannot sit in your home or your hotel room and fly the drone like you know 400 meters or like you know five miles away from you where you actually cannot see the drone so make sure you pay attention to that and usually just fly it within the vicinity of your visual line of sight that's always something to remember and the next thing to remember is 
never fly your small drone or whatever drone you have more than 120 meters above because it's a hazard especially to the aviation authorities so these are some of the things again these are applicable to multiple countries but read about the country that you're going to fly in and make sure you have these few items in place namely insurance for liability drone registration if possible take the U UAS which is the unmanned aerial operator uh, vehicles um, uh, pilot course which I will give you a link and I'll show you where that is especially for European Union and I need I think you need to do the same for other countries if if they ask it so these are basically the things that you need to remember and once you read these things and you click on the links you you click on this Croatian Civil Aviation Agency link and you will open the CCAA website and if you are on Google Chrome or I think they give you an option it, it's either in Croatian or English so make sure you click on English and you actually read through all of these rules right after you read them uh, again if you're an EU citizen there are different laws if you're you know especially if you're flying in the EU and um, Croatia is a part of EU and if you're not an EU citizen you need to register uh, as a UAS operator in the first EU member state in which you intend to fly your drone and if that country is Croatia you need to register here so this is super important so these are you know you open the link and you follow you if you want to switch it in English you do that you register you register open this registration for the drone and I think it, it sends that I might have had something from the beginning and I'd say continue registration uh, and then I need to do is you can do three things apply with paper form and I think you need to send it of, of course if you're living far away don't try to do that you can say logging in as e-citizen e which I think I we are not allowed logging in via email is something that you need to do and you just hit login and I think it, it picks up certain items from before. I would just remove certain things. And again, it depends on what you're trying to do. So you basically select that you are the natural person that are, is gonna fly the drone and uh, you give your details you give your i mean this is just an arbitrary number give your insurance policy number i told you insurance is absolutely necessary here and it needs to be eu certified so make sure that you have an eu compliant insurance liability with your drone otherwise if you know if somebody catches you if there's any issue you need to have the right paperwork otherwise it might be trouble so don't get in trouble and don't um, miss any steps so you give all the details, you write your insurance validity, you scan a copy of your insurance, you upload a copy of your drone certification, uh, which is a registration in the first EU country. And if you, if you didn't, uh, you need to upload your identification documents such as your passport or your driver's license. And then when you hit up, I understand, and then you hit submit. Uh, and also beyond this, the other thing that you need to do for the Croatian authorities is go and pay, um, a, I think it's a 30 kuna or a 20 kuna fees uh, through your bank. You can go and pay through your Bank of America website and I think for that they give you certain other steps to do it. And let's see. So that's that's the crux of the process right i hope that was helpful and the other thing that i mentioned which i want to share with you is when uh, you go to this website i'll drop in this link in the description for your uas remote pilot for open category uh, certification uh, basically this is a training this actually takes a long time it needs at least four to five hours of you know like registration and e-learning etc as you can see I did these things and I had to go through a bunch of things and I'll show you the certificate 
just as an example so that's basically the certificate you get for completing the online training and once you complete this you will be in a much better spot and when you register your drone you will actually be able to fly it in Croatia so I hope that was helpful please drop in your comments if you have any questions and I'll give you more resources to go and check it out and if you like the video please hit the like and do subscribe to the channel till then take care ciao happy flying happy traveling stay safe